the first step of porting a map is to decompile it with BSP source. So you want to download BSP source from the GitHub link. I'll leave that in the description. Open it, extract these into a folder somewhere. I've just put in here. You want to run BSP source. Should open a little thing. You might need to expand it to see the decompile button. You want to drag the here. You want to drag the map into it. All these settings don't matter. You want to go into other. You need to have extract embedded files on. Decompile it. Let's decompile it into that Mirage folder. I'm going to remove the D because I don't like the D. All right. So it's decompiled. You can close out a BSP source now. So now if we go into that Mirage folder, we've got a VMF. I like to move it directly into the maps folder straight away as the import tool will not, it needs to be in a maps folder. Anyway, so you want to open the Counter-Strike SDK. You will have this. Uh, you might need to unhide it by clicking on tools. You want to open it into Hammer. Click where I was. Open up the VMF. You don't r realistically need to fix any player clipping or anything of the sort in here. You want to go to map, check for problems, or you can just use Alt P. So I'm just going to use Alt P. You're going to find a lot of these errors. These don't really matter. You can just hit fix all the type, fix all the type, fix all the type. They're all fixed. Open it up again. Fix all the type, and there's one more fix. All right, now there's no errors on. Good. Save it. So you can, I just control S, or you can hit here. Now you are done with Hammer. You can close out. You want to open up the CS2 Workshop tools, but first you need to make sure that you have the CS:GO Legacy version installed. So open up the Workshop tools. Create a new add-on, name it something. I'm going to name my Mirage on this too. Now it's created. We can just minimize that for now. Now I've already done this, but I'll show you how to do it again. So if you're on, they Valve recommend Python 2. I've got Python 2, so it doesn't really matter. You, if you're using Python 3, however, you would want to go to game, CSGO, import scripts, import map community, edit it, look for this decode line. It will be on line 328 and you just remove this and save it and that will work on Python 3. Now, you want to scroll down, you can pretty much ignore all the, oh, you need, you need power armor as well. I'll link this in, but I've already got it installed. All right. Source one game info path. So that's why you need a CSGO legacy installed is because you need this game info. So you're going to copy this path. You want to make sure everything is in quotation marks. So now that's done. The content path is the map. So the content path is here. You do want to get rid of the slash maps, however. Otherwise, it will just reject it. Make sure it's in quotation marks. All right, now source two in uh, game info path. That is just back into game. CSGO, and as you can see, game info is right there. So we can just copy that, get rid of this. Quotation marks, S2 add-on. So if you recall, we created an add-on called Mirage underscore two. We'll be naming it Mirage underscore two. As you can see, I've already done down here. The map name, that's going to match the VMF that was created. So it's just going to be D underscore Mirage. These two do not need to be in quotation marks. Now, you would think that 
you could just run it from here. So, so you want to go to the import script, where it opens up CMD. We're going to paste this command. It will say it will override the existing content in the add-on. There's nothing in the add-on already. Enter. You'll notice that there's an error. This is because Valve is checking for MD5 files that don't exist. So you want to go to game, bin, win64, scroll all the way down, vpk.signatures. As you can see, it's checking for MD5 hashes of files from CS2. Obviously that won't work. So just rename it or delete it. It doesn't really matter. Now when I rerun it, you'll see, you'll see some red and yellow warnings and stuff, but that doesn't really matter. And it's also, it also can't find a couple of things. So now it's going to start porting models and materials. This takes a while. So this part of the video will be sped up. While we wait for this, we should get source to viewer. So I'm going to download source to viewer. You need this as valve. There are a bunch of geniuses. All right. So you want to go to open. You want to go to your game. CSGO and open the first one. Now, you want to click it and export as is. We're going to put this in map related. I've already got it here. Let's just do it again. This takes a while, so I'm not going to do it. However, if we go back to there. There's a lot of stuff you don't need. So I would recommend only keeping these. You don't, you don't even really need textures, but like this, this is big as is. I think it's 20 gig or 15 gig. If you don't cut out the uh, other things, it, it's 30 gigabytes. You don't, you don't really need maps either. The main thing you need is materials. All right. Now that, now that map is successfully ported, we can open up the add-on we created beforehand. Oh, I forgot one thing you need to download. You need to download map pack. Um, I'm going to go to Mirage 2, maps. We'll go to the prefab. Now, there will be errors on this map. Um, I'm currently in full bright. You can press F6 to see lighting, but it's not baked properly. Some lights will be very bright, like this one. So you can fix that by changing changing the UV, but I'm sure something else. I'm sure you guys know how to fix that stuff. Anyway, let's check the map for errors. You can't do Alt-P, which is annoying. Um, so the light ones you can just get rid of. The particle glows, I I know it's bad practice, but I I I just get rid of them. No errors are found. If you want to add bots, you need to go into the entity tool, so shift and E, and you want to create nav walkable. He just places it anywhere. There you go. See, now, now bots will be able to spawn. The other thing you need to install is Radgen. You need to get it from his Discord. I'll link his Discord in the description. Go into his releases. And you want to download the latest release, which is 1.0. This is for mini maps. So it's got a readme. So you just want to, you want to read, um, this and you should you, you should be able to install this yourself and now if you open up v console so go into here press your tilde key so as map as mini uh mini maps in csgo are dds we need either i think paint.net works i use photoshop but let's try the paint.net all right, see, this is the, you want to just save it as, save it as content, 
you need this in your content folder. Add-ons, Mirage 2. I create a folder called overhead maps. Now you want to go back into paint.net. Oh yeah, save it as. Save it as a TGA. Automatically pop up. And now with Radjet installed, you want to create another um, entity called Radjet and config. This is also described in his tutorial. So you can put that anywhere. It has got properties. You can ask him about it. It's just colors and whatnot. We want to go to game this time. CSGO add-ons. Mirage 2. Now I need to create a folder called resource. And we want to create a folder called overviews. Now we want to paste this in. Paste. I'll just paste the whole file. And rename it to the map. So we're on prefab, so prefab. You want to replace this with um, autogenerate TGA. I can just, I'm just going to grab it from in here. You can see how everything is the same in this, apart from this. I'm pretty sure Red Gen changes this automatically anyway. But, so you need to build the map first. So you'll save the changes because the only change we've added is this regen config. I'm going to build it. Um, you also do need an RTX card. If you do not look on YouTube, there are tutorials on how to do it without a uh, RTX card. Now that the build is done, we can load it in engine. So it will load into the engine, however, if you upload this to, um, oh, I forgot to remove the fog. I'll remove that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rebuild, but the, the, the fog's a bit annoying. Um, so you can see everything works. Everything looks good. Let's disconnect. So just to remove the fog, you can, you can just delete this. Or you can, you can, you can fix it if you really want to. I can't be bothered. Anyway, um, now, now we can go into RadGen and we can click on it and it should be able to create the minimap. Now it will definitely work. As you can see, oh yeah, I've also made another error there by not having prefab. So I'm just going to copy over everything from in here into here. As otherwise, the minimap will be off center. So now, if I load the map in the engine, there should be a minimap. There, in fact, is not a minimap. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I, I actually, I actually don't believe that's the case. I believe if I shut this down, as it is in cache, it takes uh, it takes a while to shut down for some reason, and open it back up. You guys shouldn't need to do this if you don't make the same mistake I did of not having the um, the overhead map being the wrong name. Just load the map into the engine. Okay, no. So we can see there's a there's a mini map now. The mini map's all working. So. This works in the Hammer Engine. However, if I uploaded this to Workshop and just uploaded it as is, it would not work. So you need to download Map Packer. So if you just download the zip, it'll have an EXE in it. Um, and I'm just going to keep this open for now. So you want to go to the EXE. I have mine saved in here. And you want to go to game, make sure it's game, add-ons, the add-on you're working on, the map, the VPK, and you want to drag it onto mappacker.exe, click Y. It'll add everything it cannot find. Now, 
I run it back through. Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong way. I'll delete this because I don't need it. As you can see, it's added a lot of materials that we're missing. If I run it back through, I click N. See how it hasn't found these materials. That's why I hit N. Because now, if I go into my CSGO add-ons, there will be a new one in here. So what we want to do is we want to go, this is why we decompiled this. So what you want to do, as you can see, there's no tools, there's no dev. So you want to create a dev folder and we'll go into materials and we will go into dev. And as you can see, it's looking for black simple.vmat. So we're going to copy that over. Now it's looking for tools. So we're going to create a tools folder. Go back out. And we will go to, where is it? Tools. What does it want? It wants tool clip. So I'm just going to go down here. Uh, tool clip is right there. It wants invisible and invisible ladder. Um, it's no draw and trigger. It also wants his last one, but this, this can be a bit confusing as it's an underscore, not a slash. It's actually back in the materials folder. So you want to go here and copy this one over. Also, before I repack this, I just want to point out some things that could have issues. So if I go over to this vent, you'll notice it's rotated 90 degrees. Same with this one. So now what we want to do is now that we've added the materials that we're missing, we want to go back to this map packer folder and we want to drag it on top of to map packet, map, uh, map packet exe. It's created a VPK with those missing assets. You want to cut it. So you want to cut, go back into your add-ons folder, go back into maps and paste it in and replace it. Now, if I upload it to workshop, so let's just call this Mirage test. Mirage test. You also need an image here. I'm just gonna go over here to make sure nothing bad. My dog. Um, as you can see, map, map, maps are massive in CS2. I'm just gonna put it as classic. And we're gonna put it as friends only because nothing's gonna be used here. As it is a new add-on, it will take a while to get approved for public. If you are using public, it should take less than 24 hours. I'm just getting ready to load it up in game to make sure that it actually works in game because it can work in hammer. So it's been uploaded. As you can see, no one can see it. So we got to close out of this. We want to shut down hammer. Um, I don't really want to save them because we already ported this map. That was just the vent as well. First, let's uh, just download. Let's just subscribe to that map. All right. See, as you can see, it's waiting approval. So even your friends won't be able to see it. Now, let's see if it works in game. If it doesn't work in game, it'll crash your game and cause an error. Um, and you'll have to validate your file. So that's quite annoying. So as you can see, it's just down here. Let's load it into competitive. I wonder if the bots work in game. They should work. Yeah, see, we got bots. Things work in game. game. Alright. That should conclude the video. Thank you very much. Hope you guys uh, found this useful.